The rebar clash detection feature was created so that you may fine tune your 3D masonry estimate model. The feature will allow you to remove extra rebar placements with the click of a button. For example, you may have used the one click repeat feature and repeated your rebar four feet on center until the end of the wall. This is quick and easy to do, but you could have placed rebar in the same cells as your rebar for window jams, control joints, corners, etc. These rebar are now clashing. The clashes will show up in your report and will calculate, just as they always have. But now you can identify these clashes and remove them with ease. End result, you will have a more accurate report and bottom line bid price. Note. Removing clashes is optional and you do not have to use the feature. The feature was initially developed for those requesting a more accurate model for BIM modeling purposes. The rebar clash feature is found on the place wall screen. We recommend that you look at your rebar clashes after you have placed the openings, vertical schedules, and rebar for each wall. It is much easier to remove or correct for clashes one wall at a time, instead of going back at the end and trying to do it for the entire project. The first thing you will want to do is make your current wall transparent so that you can see the rebar in the wall. Next, click on the Rebar Clashes tab in the lower left corner of the PW screen. This will create a list of all the rebar clashes in your current wall. Note, you may not have any clashes in the wall you created for the walkthrough. It is highly likely that you will with an actual takeoff. Watch the walkthrough and make note of the feature for future takeoffs if you do not have any clashes. Highlight one of the listed clashes by left clicking on it. You should now see a red and blue arrow indicator above the highlighted clash. These arrows represent the two pieces of rebar that are occupying the same cell. The arrows shown in the tutorial are indicating the clash between a control joint and a rebar wall placement. The vast majority of your clashes are going to be when a rebar schedule and rebar from a different schedule, such as openings and verticals, are occupying the same cell. There is a feature that will easily remove all these clashes in your wall with three simple clicks. Click on Shared Info, which is under the second Rebar Clashes tab. There are two buttons under Shared Info. The Wall button allows you to look at the current wall and make changes on the Update Wall screen. The Quick Delete will allow you to remove multiple clashes at once. Click on Quick Delete and the Rebar Clash Quick Delete screen opens. You have two options, Delete or Cancel. By clicking on Delete, you will be choosing to delete all of the rebar schedules that are clashing with rebar in the other schedules. Note, the program may take a few seconds to regenerate the graphic after the clash is removed. The program has removed all the rebar schedules that were clashing with all other schedules with rebar in them. The Quick Delete does a fantastic job of eliminating all rebar clashes between rebar schedules and the rebar in other schedules such as openings. There may be instances where you have a clash between two rebar schedules. For these clashes, you will need to manually choose which one you wish to remove. Look under your Rebar Clash tab after you have used the Quick Delete and you may still see some clashes remaining. The model I used for the tutorial has two clashes remaining. All of the rebar are from the rebar schedule. Highlight one of the listed clashes and the blue and red arrows will appear above it in the model. Now that you have identified the clashes, you will need to decide which ones you wish to remove. To the right of the Rebar Clashes List tab, you will find another set of tabs. Open the tab titled 
Rebar Clashes. This tab has the controls for choosing and then eliminating one of the clashes. We will cover some of the information and features under this tab before we cover the actual deletion of the rebar. There are two sub-tabs to work with. Clash A, which highlights the rebar placement in your model with the red arrow, and Clash B, which will highlight the second rebar with a blue arrow. The Show Pointer will turn the colored arrow pointer for either clash on or off. The View and Graphic button will move your model on the Place Wall screen and center it on the highlighted clash. On the left side of the screen, you will have a button that will open the schedule that each rebar clash came from. There is also a button to open and look at the placement of the schedule. These buttons allow you to gather more detailed information. You may also make changes to the schedules and placements if you do not want to simply delete the rebar clash. Once you have identified the clash and gathered all the information you need, you may move forward and delete the unwanted clash. Open the tab of the clash you wish to remove and click on the Delete Repeat button. For the purposes of the tutorial, I have selected to remove Clash B. The program will ask you to confirm that you wish to delete the rebar placement. Click Delete and the clash was removed from the clash list. The next clash is highlighted and you repeat the procedure as needed. The rebar clash detection feature will give you a more accurate model and bottom line bid price. A few minutes spent up front on your takeoff will save you money in the end.